Hello, I'm Dawn Hawkins. And I'm Lisa Thompson. And we're both with the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. And we direct a very large coalition, the Coalition to End Sexual Exploitation. And we are here to invite you to join that coalition. We've been around for 10 years, 10 years. And we invite everyone, all NGOs and advocates who are looking to build a world free from sexual abuse and exploitation to join with us. It's a very broad and loose-knit coalition um, because we believe that in order to break down silos and create a more cohesive movement, we have to unite all actors from diverse worldviews, backgrounds and disciplines, from survivor leaders to direct service providers to policy advocates and lawyers and more, medical professionals, law enforcement, educators, we all need to be working together in a somewhat united fashion in order to better advocate and better educate. Right, you know, I was just talking to some um, individuals this morning and sharing with them about the coalition and the really fantastic thing about it is its diversity and the range of people from different disciplines and different perspectives, different faith backgrounds, maybe no faith background, uh, but bringing them all together because we have this common core belief that the, the world should be free from sexual abuse and exploitation. This is what unites us. So um, we're so happy to have this umbrella organization where we're all rallying around this, this common core belief. And so under the auspices of the coalition, we promote collaboration, activism, prevention, education, and all these things that are key to combating the web of sexual abuse and exploitation. And in order to help um, preserve our unity and to bring us more together, we have developed some core values, some guiding values that we're excited to share with you. Here they are. Dignity. Every human being, regardless of race, sex, socioeconomic status, age, ability, or other factors, possesses inherent human dignity and therefore has a right to live free from the harms of sexual abuse and exploitation. Hope, we're founded on the hope and the belief that the darkness of sexual exploitation and abuse will not extinguish the light of human dignity. I most often feel hope when I'm meeting with survivor leaders and other advocates that are just doing the great work to combat exploitation. It reminds me of the Mr. Rogers quote um, on the old American TV show about whenever you see a disaster, look for the helpers. And I'm so honored and filled with hope to be surrounded by so many helpers, so many advocates who are passionate about human dignity. Healthy sexuality, respect, intimacy, mutuality, responsibility, and love are integral aspects of healthy sexuality. Survivor leadership. We value and seek the leadership and expertise of survivors of all forms of sexual abuse and exploitation. Their voices inform our understanding and guide the way for meaningful change. The commodification of sex acts is inherently exploitive and incompatible with authentic consent and mutual desire in sexual relationships. The lack of consent is the defining feature of sexual exploitation and human trafficking. Unity in diversity. Sexual exploitation is a cancer affecting all categories of political, racial, gender, religious, age, and cultural groupings. It often targets the most vulnerable in each of those areas. We must all come together to have better discussion, make better decisions, and have the successful outcomes we need to end sexual exploitation. A lot of different flowers make up a bouquet. Intersectionality. Sexual abuse and exploitation thrive when responses to these harms fail to account for the interconnections among all forms of sexual abuse and exploitation. We actively foster multidisciplinary education and cross-collaboration between experts and organizations addressing all forms of sexual harm. Abolitionism. We aspire to abolish all forms of sexual exploitation and abuse. Not just reduce, not just stem, abolish. The charismatic Norma Hattelling was a survivor of childhood sexual abuse that started when she was five. She was also a survivor of prostitution, of kidnapping, of rape, and of the prison system. Yet she turned her traumas into triumphs and was a guiding light to the countless survivors that she helped 
and an inspiring pioneer to those in the movement to end sexual exploitation. I was lucky enough to meet Norma shortly before her untimely death over a decade ago. And I asked her, Norma, what should we all be focusing on? And she looked me in the eye and she said, honey, unless we abolish the demand for paid sex, we're all wasting our time. We aspire to abolish all forms of sexual exploitation and abuse so that survivors could thrive. We seek to abolish the demand for paid sex so that the market would dry up and so that hopefully sex buyers themselves would change and live lives of inherent dignity. We seek to abolish the platforms and policies that allow corporations and organized crime to profit off of the misery of others. And we seek to, to abolish the societal norms that indicate that some are less worthy than others and are there to be used and abused by the privileged and powerful. We aspire to abolish all forms of sexual exploitation and abuse. And we want you to join us. Together, we can do this. If you affirm these guiding values and would like to participate in a much more united movement to build a world free from sexual abuse and exploitation, we invite you to join us by visiting endexploitationmovement.com. We hope to see you there.